So if you go over here to Discord, where obviously I put in my Discord that, hey, I'm live streaming now over here. Let's go to Wendy Pack's server. This server, 24 hours a day, was booming with people talking. Look here. I haven't commented since 8.06 this morning. Now, that is about an hour and a half ago. There should have been 500 comments in here. Last time I was in this server, it never stopped. I mean, 3 a.m. in the morning, it was going constantly. But ever since Team Hate came in here, you know, notice I have them blocked. There's Dumpster Rick. He's a member of Team Hate. All he does is go around spewing the bullshit and the hate. And the rest of this time, he, he's, he's going up to people and saying, oh, hi, Wendy. It's your brother, Ricky. You know, I love you to death. Oh, God, I missed you. And it was just last night he was fucking talking to the bitch. Either it, right here in Discord or on her fucking, he's on her panel all the time. Oh, he's her brother now. He loves her so much. Let me tell you something, Rick. She knows what a piece of shit you are. She just loves having y'all on her panel because it gives her some kind of uh, direction to go in content. I think she could do a thousand percent better if she got rid of all of you drunk fucks. There's Fireman John. The only thing that seems to have changed in this Discord is Team Hate joined the Discord. And they ran everybody off. Everybody. They ran the other fucking haters off, except for this, uh, the 64 Bannable, which there's no telling who that is. He's probably another fucking retard. I mean, he's either a retard or really smart, and he's just trolling these fuckers. One of the two. It's one of the two. It's, there's no in-between because nobody is that stupid. So, Wendy's server has been destroyed. 100%. They've taken over this Discord with their spewing of fucking hate and bullshit constantly. Just for attention. These people are desperate for attention to that degree that they have totally fucked up Wendy Pack's channel. People like Wits End, uh, Harry Brogan, people like that. They're no good to have in your server, man. You bring these people into your server or tall, dark, and a handful. Now, I'm not going to continue. The only thing I'll say about him negatively is he's another guy that will go make up uh, 10 fake profiles and he'll go in there and he will intentionally get people to arguing for his pure entertainment. Now, that's what you call a pure shithead. Nobody likes these people. I've said it, and I'll say it time and time and time again. Nobody likes these fucking people. And the content that they bring to Carmen and Friends, go watch their show from a year ago, like three of their shows from a year ago. Pick one show, skip a few, watch, or whatever. Watch three in a row. Much better shows than what you've seen for over a month running. And the only difference is what's in is a producer over there. And so is Team Hate. They, they're they helping him over there. They pretty much took over that, that server over there. And they're just running everybody away. The only people that are over there, there's about 20 to 30 simps over there. That they're diehards. They'll stay in there no matter what, right? Uh, they try to team up against Team Hate, and they team up on each other occasionally to try to run each other out, and occasionally one of them will come get me to help them out, and I don't mind going in there against Team Hate occasionally, but I just don't like that. I just got no fucking desire to even be around them fucking people, so that's why I keep leaving out. The only time I go in there is when I want to lay a, a factual statement over there. Of course, it always is against them because it's just a fact, and I will say it again. I've offered up on Twitter in public that I will give full fucking access to all of my phone records 
And you can go back at least two years on my phone. I think it goes back three years with my company or maybe four or five years. You can go back a long fucking way. So to Elisa Jordana, I will give her my fucking password. Of course, I'll have to change it after, but that's not a problem. I don't mind doing that because it's just my fucking phone access I'm giving her to. And it's only temporary. And it's only so she can look at my phone records or I will bring her into a YouTube private stream and I will flip my screen around and I will show her any fucking dates. All of my phone records for those days. For those weeks, for those months. If she wants to take the, the time out to do that. I got no problem doing those things. To prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that I never constantly, I only called one guy one time, that was her boss. And there was nothing, there was never a conversation that took place about her. Never. I never ever called her workplace, not one time. I never ever called a single fucking coworker that she's got. Unless she asked me to call him, and it was never, ever about her in any negative way. 